I have a very popular actor and comedian with us. He's appeared on the stage at the Improv, the Comedy Store, the Laugh Factory. He was the winner of the San Francisco Comedy Competition. His film credits include roles in Kingpin, the Peter Farrell. That's one of my favorite all-time comedies, Kingpin. There's something about Mary, me, myself, and Irene, Shallow Hell, Stuck on You. And he's now appearing on the TV. He's appeared on the TV show King of Queens, Veep. And now he's starring in the Peter Fairley produced show Louder Milk, which is on Netflix. Yeah, it just dropped. And um, it just started be airing on Netflix. Jackie Flynn is here, ladies and gentlemen. Say hello to Jackie Flynn. Hello, everybody. Uh, now, I started watching, Steph and I started watching the uh, Louder Milk, and it is hilarious. Yeah, it's uh, It real, is really, yeah. really some. And there's a lot of funny comedians. You're in it. Brian Regan. Brian who's Regan's a very funny, a yeah. very popular comedian. Sells out theaters all over the place. Yeah. He's in that also. And uh, what's the main character's name? No, I can't remember. Ron Livingston. Ron Livingston yeah. is it. And uh, so, Ricky Blitz in it as well. He's a writer, actor. Okay. Very funny, yeah. So let me show this just a little clip. So this is from an episode that features a lot of you. Yes. And <laughs> it's where... <laughs> Where a little person, I guess we're yep. supposed to, uh, we call them now, um, uh, wants to wants to fight you. And, exactly. And here we go. You got to be shitting me. You're Hiram. Oh, hey. Uh, I'm assuming you must be David, uh, uh, Louisa's ex. Uh, it's 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 nice to meet you. Don't give me that shit, Stretch. You fucked up when you decided to mow my lawn. I thought she was your ex lawn. And, and, you know, I haven't even been near the bushes yet, so... What are you, smartass? Come on, motherfucker, let's get it on. <laughs> no, no, come on, fighting never solved anything. Uh, just bad things I happen. promise you, I am going to beat your little dick off. <laughs> beat your dick off? <laughs> You're damn right, hotshot. You looking to get your dick beat off, too? It's funny you should ask. Why are you getting up in my Kool-Aid, Goliath? Kool-Aid? <laughs> Look, pal, if I was you, I'd get back on my little scooter and go back to my house on the Shire. Okay, look, I came here to kick his ass. And since he's too much of a putang to fight, it looks like it's going to be you, Manute. Dude, I'm not <laughs> fighting you. I don't need a murder rap. You think you'd have a murder rap? No, no, I'd have the murder rap. I like what you did there, how you turned it around on me. Yeah, feel good. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, so that's the setup. This is, uh, there's more to this. I want to show a little bit more. So here you are, Brian Regan. Yeah. How does that work? What the fuck is this? Oh, check this out. This is even bigger. You gotta be shitting me. So this uh, this little person put up posters saying that you guys are gonna have a fight. Yeah, there's a big. Yeah, the, it's it's a lot more involved in that. But yeah, the, the posters everywhere all of a sudden, and uh, I didn't. Not, I'm not aware of it. You know. Okay, I'm, let's yeah. watch. They're all over the fucking place. This fight is going down, Tony. What am I gonna do now, Muggsy? I don't know. I don't blame you for being afraid. This guy's a tough son of a bitch, man. <laughs> he packs a hell of a nut punch. What are you, I'm not afraid. He's a little person. I'm not. I can't fight him. Everyone will think I'm a bully. Well, not if you lose. You just take a dive like Sonny Liston. Then everyone will think I'm pathetic. Don't you see? This is a classic lose-lose situation here. Okay. Heck, I want to show this. Here's the last clip I'll show. It's very funny. So what do you want? Hey, thanks for meeting me, pal. Tony, by the way. David. This whole thing. Now, listen, I, I got no beef with you. I was just sticking up for my buddy. He's a little pussy, and I knew you'd knock the fuck out of him. Yeah, I guess I was running a little hot. I get it. But this whole fight thing is crazy. We got to call it off. Yeah, maybe we should. I mean, you know, given different circumstances, you and I might be best buddies. I don't know about best, but I mean, we could hang. There you go. Hold on. Two, please. There you go, pal. What's this? What's it look like? It's an ice cream cone. Think of it as an olive branch. You're trying to get out of a fight or adopt me. I don't want a fucking ice cream cone. What do you want to see me go down the slide? Huh? Huh? Just because I'm small, you want to treat me like a little kid? No, I don't buy ice cream cones for little kids. That, that'd be creepy. Yeah, it is creepy, you arrogant piece of fuck. Hey, you don't have to act like a little prick about it. <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> Fight still on, numb nuts. I'll be there, you little fucking dink. I'll be waiting, honey. All oh, right, there's actually one more. Clip. Yeah, we we actually fight. So yeah. they actually do have a this fight. Is worth I can't believe I got to do this. Relax, man. You're gonna be fine. Yeah, I'm not gonna be fine. I'm not a boxer. What if I kill this guy? Or worse, what if I lose? Calm down, man. What's the matter with you? Why are you sweating already? I'm not sweating. That's butter from your fucking popcorn, you idiot. Get off of me. <laughs> Oh, man. Y'all see the crowd out there? This place is hype. Crowd? I don't need a crowd. 
I've seen little people wrestle before, but I've never seen two little people box. This could be epic. You hear that? They think I'm a little person. Uh, no wonder. Look at the poster. Hey, listen. I'm not a microbiologist, but what if we get you down to his size? <laughs> How are you going to cut my fucking legs off? <laughs> I got an idea. Okay. All right. I, we can't show the rest. That's great. I don't want to give it away, but that's uh, just that's just some cuts from Louder Milk. Jackie Flynn is uh, one of the actors, and it stars Ron Livingston. It's uh, being uh, directed by Peter Fairley. Yeah. Uh, everybody knows Peter Fairley, Academy Award winning director. He did my, I think one of my, I think my favorite comedy of all time, which uh, the bowling movie, which is just unbelievable. Kingpin. Kingpin. Yeah. It's yeah. just that I, holds I, up too. I watched that movie probably three or four times. I I couldn't stop. That's like up there with Young Frankenstein for me. Yeah, the more you watch it, you miss stuff too. You don't realize that there's so many little subtle jokes in there, yeah. and it really holds up. Yeah. So, how did you how did you get involved? You you know you 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 write and you star in Peter Fraley's movies. How did that start? Uh, well, it started a long time ago when we met. I was doing stand up, and he saw me at a fundraiser, and uh, you know he said, "Hey, I got this movie Kingpin I'm doing," and he sent me. He said, "I'd like you to do something in it," and we did that, and then we became kind of friends, and then he ended up calling me in to do something about Mary and have me you know do some punch up writing with them on that and then I did me myself and Irene and Shallow House stuck on you and on and on and now the show so this and is. and then I what I remember you told me a story about when you guys were hanging out and you were at some fundraiser together you and Peter and Peter would introduce you as oh this is one of the funniest comedians in the country Jackie Flynn and he introduced you to the head of Coca-Cola and the head of Coca-Cola said hey Jackie do you ever do private shows Last year we had uh, uh, Natalie Cole. Yeah, you remember this story? Uh, maybe. So, so uh, you go, yeah, yeah. I, I do private shows. They go, yeah. We, well, we'd like to hire you. What? What do you usually charge? And Jackie says, you know, fifteen. The usual, fifteen plus air. And back then he meant fifteen hundred. Yeah, yeah. So Jackie goes and does the gig, and they yeah. give you the check, and the check was yeah, yeah, fifteen grand. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the check was for fifteen thousand. Yeah. yeah, I almost fainted. <laughs> But that was uh, that was a long time ago. That was like thirty years ago. Yeah, maybe yeah, close to it. Twenty, probably twenty five years ago. Yeah, that's a great story. Yeah, that's a true story too. Different company, not Coca Cola. I forget who the heck it was now, but it was like a credit card processing company. Oh, okay. Yeah. It was on a yacht, right? It was on a boat. Yeah, they had like a booze cruise thing going on, like a small, like a you know small boat, you know, out in the harbor. Now, Jackie, what do you say to people when? Uh, when when you ask them for directions, I'm I'm. You, this is in the this is in one of the episodes I yes. saw. Yes. I just want you to do it for me. Oh boy. Uh, do, do, what do you say to people when the when you go you ask people for directions and they go oh as as the crow flies? Yeah, they always say you know you get directions to give you the useless information you don't need to know. You know how far is it? Well, as the crow flies, it's eight miles. You know. Oh, thanks. How far would it be if I was an East Asian chinchilla monkey running as fast <laughs> as I can? How long would it take then? How far is it as a beaver swims? Say it was a beaver family swimming upstream, right? Or my beaver kids, I don't know, snapped the. Flip, how long would it take then? I got a three-legged cat. What kind of journey is he going to have? You know, <laughs> and on and on and on. No, keep going. <laughs> I got, I I, the right. spinning <laughs> nickels part. You missed that I whole. A, I got a blind squirrel. What kind of truck can he look forward to? I got a cock a spaniel that walks backwards. You know, spitting nickels. What's his ETA? Just ballpark. How long would it take if I just saddled up a long-winded prick like yourself and rolled you the whole way down? How would that be? <laughs> you silly son of a bitch. There you go. All there right. you go. You're going to have to see my whole act now. Yeah. Yeah. No. But people's... no, we're very uh, excited about the show because it's been. Uh, it was kind of languishing. Uh, it was originally on the uh, DirecTV's audience channel, which was a you know small network that they had. It was the original program for AT and T, and then that went away. Uh, that channel, and then uh, Amazon had it, but it was kind of buried and hidden. And now Netflix just dropped it uh, all three seasons on uh, January first, and it's it's caught fire. It's done a thing kind of like a la Schitt's Creek, and you know maybe uh, Arrested Development, and you know it was. I, Kai. I saw it was like one of the top. Uh, three searched uh, comedies, right? Top two, it, yeah. It's all right. It's it's number three in Ireland and and Australia and UK. It's it's crazy. It's the craziest thing ever. Well, Can't, you should, you you should come. You should come with me and open for me. I'm going to London. I'm going that. to Australia. I would love that. Well, I offered you to I'm open in Palmdale on Sunday, you prick, yeah, and you I couldn't make it. it. It was right down do the street from your freaking house. I would do it. I was. I forget where I was. I was in. I was in Arizona. Oh, okay. But, uh, yeah, that's what I'm hoping. I'm hoping that, you know, we're going to do more seasons, supposedly, but at worst, I'll be able to, you know, uh, be Jackie Flynn from Watermilk and do a lot better on, in theaters and all that type of stuff, you know, kind of like what you're doing. Yeah. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Okay. Hopefully. I mean, with any luck, you know. Well, with any luck. Yeah. And uh, you now you, you t tell people about your, your, your uh, you have a project in the works. 
You yeah, to... I don't know how much I can talk about that. But, oh, really? Uh, I, I don't know. I mean, I have a deal. Uh, we have a project with Netflix, and we're we're working on it. It's being uh, we're so developing. your daughter yeah, was yeah. dating. T- yeah, you can yeah. tell that part, right? Yeah, yeah. My daughter is dating. Uh, uh, he, she dates an Indy car driver, what, race car driver. What's his name? His Mario name is, Andretti. His name is Colton Herta, but he races for Mario Andretti's son's uh, race team. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, it's oh. Andretti Motorsports. So, so I was in it. So I was sitting in the uh, and in the Indianapolis airport. Yeah, and there's a guy sitting. We're waiting for the plane. Guy sitting across from me, and it looks like he has a Super Bowl ring on. Yeah, and uh, I never talk to strangers. I don't like to talk to strangers because they're always going to ask you what you do for a living, and I hate telling them. Yeah, yeah, sure. And um, so I, but I couldn't help it. I go, hey, do you mind if I ask you uh, what that ring is from? I thought he was going to say Super Bowl, and I yeah. thought he was going to say he was a Super Bowl yeah. player. And he said, this is an Indy car. Uh, oh, Indy we, won the, we win the Indy yeah. 500. Sure. I was like, whoa, that's impressive. Yeah. And then he told me the name. And I think we talked about it. Yeah, Ma- Ma- uh, Mathers I, or somebody. I can't no, remember. Uh, but he said, I think he yeah. said he won it in 2020. Yeah, and I asked elect- Colton's dad if he knew him. And he knew him, yeah. So I asked yeah. this guy. So Jackie, I said to Steph, I said, Steph, look up. Uh, what What is that guy's name that Jackie? Yeah. So she, I think she texted Nikki or something. Yeah, yeah. And then we said his name. And he goes, he goes oh, yeah, I know who that guy is. Yeah. Over it's you know funny I, when you just told me the story. It was a funny story that Mario Andretti actually I heard from him, and he lives, he lives in Pennsylvania, and you know obviously everyone knows Mario Andretti, and he's speeding through town. A cop pulls him over. And he says, "What do you think, you're Mario Andretti?" And he just hands him his <laughs> license, and like, you know, and the cop's like, "You gotta be shitting me." <laughs> I mean, what are the odds? How many times in your life you've said you're driving like Mario Andretti? Ah, yeah, like, oh, that's hilarious. Yeah, so you got story. so so you had an idea for a show over this, right? Yeah, we got a show that we're talking we're doing, and uh, it's. Uh, you know, we're writing it as we speak. It's uh, produce. I'm going to produce it with Peter Farley and uh, a couple other guys. About one is Colton's dad, Brian Herda, and uh, Terry Cunningham and John Kelly. And we're we're uh, we're uh, you know creating the show. It's going to be should be really superb, hopefully. And uh, have you written any new jokes lately? I have. I've been. Uh, you know, I just came I back. Should, I was. I should ask yeah. you for setup. Yeah, I would have had a couple of jokes ready for you. Yeah. No. What yeah, should I yeah. say to set you up for one? Oh, Jesus you Christ! Have, uh, so you got. You, you got any jokes about your kids in college? You got, you, don't what? have any college jokes. I'm trying to think what I have. Uh, what the hell? Do I have? Jackie, I you're a killer. Head. Jackie's top a killer. Of my head. I'm trying to think of new stuff that I really done. Um, what, what are your golf jokes? No golf jokes. I got. Uh, I got jokes about. Uh, I know you can't the do pandemic. Your, Oh really? In the back, I said. Uh oh, be well, careful! Can you you got to be clean, though, right? You can't, no, uh, no, you, you can, can say whatever the fuck you want. Uh, You're the well, one I who said, has to worry. I, I just said, you know, I'm just happy, you know, happy to be out, you know, doing stand up, you know, for as a comedian. I didn't work for nine months or whatever. It was, you know, need an audience, you know. So now I'm just happy to be anywhere, you know, even here. I mean, uh, you know, the pandemic, I, you know, just stuck there, not watching TV. I never watched so much television. Right? I mean, binging everything on Netflix. What's calling everybody? What's good? What's I'm running out of shit to watch. And you know, I just finished all of uh, Pornhub, which was a, a little longer than I thought, and weird in spots, you know. But you know, it's overall, pretty good. You got to stick with it, you know. And uh, I'm looking forward to season two. <laughs> it's my little pandemic. This is trip. what I'm talking about. You got to Jackie <laughs> Flynn brings the heat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that nice Pornhub joke. All right. Yeah. Can't now get, you can't do. I know you got. Uh, we can't do the other jokes that get you in trouble at Netflix. Uh, yeah, on well, Netflix you can be dirty on Netflix too. It's streaming. Well, I mean, right? you, yeah. you you know you know you know Dave Chappelle got in trouble with the trans. Oh, you joke. can't do any kind of stuff like that. No, you can't. Uh, but you did no, tell no. me a few off air, which are hilarious, which I won't repeat. But uh, yeah. yeah, they were. <laughs> how good? The, the oh setup. yeah, yeah, that joke. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Can't do anything. I, 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 hey, look, I got to at least wait until I'm big enough to get canceled. And yeah, can, that's know. right. Yeah, you can't. You want to get canceled? Can you don't I don't mean like be pre canceled before I even get going. Who was that kid who what, didn't even make it on Saturday Night Live? He got pre canceled before even let him. I oh for, yeah, they he's were funny. For, yeah, they were going to hire him, and then they, yeah. they did a, di- a, di- a deep dive on their. Yeah, on his, uh, yeah. And then they that's fired terrible. him before he that's even terrible. made it. Yeah. All right. Well, everybody should check out Louder Milk. It's on Netflix. Jackie's yeah. in it. He's hilarious. Brian Regan is in it. It's yeah. be, being directed by Peter Farrelly. And uh, I'm in. I'm on episode, I think five or six, and it is really funny. It's uh, it's a great. It's really a great show. Yeah, you stick with it. It's again, it's like anything. It, it gets better and better as it goes, and the characters get more developed. And uh, you know, we're hoping to keep some going. of those Netflix uh, the series I've watched got shittier. 
not, not, yeah. not I, really. I there's a couple of them that started off great, and then yeah, I'm like, oh steam god, a little bit. Uh, god yeah. damn, but not the not louder milk. The oh, good. I'm, I'm, like just, I'm so happy it got picked up by Netflix and that it's getting because uh, it is yeah, really it's great. It's very. It's been. It's almost sweeter now because uh, it got. You know, if someone just saw it right away, it would be one season, and then you'd be oh that was all right. You know, but now we get three seasons and people get really invested. They get to binge the whole thing. Oh, thirty great. episodes. So it's actually been better in a sense the way it's happened. Now. Oh and yeah, it's, you're and right. It's vindicating too because we told her it's a great show but nobody ever fucking saw the thing you yeah know? but now they get to yeah. see it and yeah i saw it was like yeah like i said it was like top two search then it was like top 10 in europe and yeah. it was like, it's a very popular show now i, I can't get it stay in there it's i kept they kept thinking you know well you know we'll see what happens if it stays and it just keeps building it's like it's kind of like that thing you know if you tell two people he'll tell you know and yeah. it just keeps going you know like yeah the old uh, shampoo commercial remember? <laughs> that's how old we are <laughs> Okay. All right. Jackie Flynn, everybody check out Loud America on Netflix. Hey, come see us do a live stand-up show. We're going to be in Omaha, Des Moines, Milwaukee, Lansing, Michigan, Bend, Oregon, Portland, Oregon, Seattle, Washington, Philadelphia, Avenal, New Jersey, Boston, Palm Springs, and more. Go to JimmyDoor.com for a link for all those tickets. See you at a live show. Mm -hmm.